Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to my community show. Hey, you're very cool when I attack like that, huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, but that's not important. What's important is what we're here to discuss today. Today is about learning how to accept a compliment. For Steps Basic, that doesn't have anything to do with gaming or anything YouTube related. What are you talking about? Hold on. Yeah, freaking voice you. Actually, it does. Shut up, phone. Actually, it does. I know, it's weird. How, do, how does uh, accepting a compliment pertain to gaming or YouTube? Well, in truth, yes, you're right. It doesn't really apply to that specifically. It's a general statement about who you are as a person and what you should do to, you know, be who you are. The problem is that when it comes to like things like YouTube and gaming videos and, 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 and even just general videos in general, general videos in general, that was stupid, but when it comes to performance art, much like what I do and what other people on the YouTubes here do, it comes down to, you know, accepting the compliments. And I have a problem doing this. I rarely ever accept compliments. <laughs> it's something I'm learning better to do. Because, you know, I just don't think that I need to worry about accepting compliments. I'm weird. But anyway. <laughs> and it's not just me. And it's not just YouTubers. It's artists in general. And the problem that, that it is, the problem that comes with this, is the fact that it's so... Uh, I don't even know how to put it into words. That's weird. We see all of our faults, we see all of our flaws, and we see them in glaring obviousness because we see them every day and we know what they are. And so when a person produces a piece of art, i.e. a book, a painting, a, 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 a ballad, a song, you know, any one of those things, we know what we did wrong. We see every single fault in the story. But if you show it to somebody, they're going to be like, Wow, this is awesome. This is amazing. Wow, I can't believe you drew this picture of a cat that looks like a real cat. That's spectacular. Or, hey, I can't believe you wrote a 3,000-page novel about the struggles of ex existentialicity. You're amazing. Okay, drunk guy, calm down. Because... To us, it's not an amazing picture of a cat that looks so real. It's several hours of work that have been reworked and reworked and reworked. It's not 3,000 pages of whatever it was I said it was. <laughs> it's a year of our life dedicated to, to messing up. And the same goes for videos. Like for me, when I'm, when I'm doing videos for YouTube for the gaming channel, it's like I jump into it, I make a joke, and I hope it lands. <laughs> I make a funny voice and I think, is this annoying or is it what? Because all in all, I'm analyzing, like seriously critiquing what I'm doing in the process of making a video. Could I have done that better? What not? And that's actually kind of funny because that's why I introduced uh, Subtitle Guy in the beginning back when I first started. He's the fellow who points out all my mistakes, by the way, and he's actually me just in the future editing. <laughs> because, honestly, that in itself is a joke. And I do these things and I make my commentary and then I think back like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, that was stupid. Or, oh, that's, that's a little bit callous. Or, why did you laugh there? People are dying around you. It's a serious moment and people are miserable. Why are you laughing about this? And it's like, well laughing about that I'm laughing about something else and then I get people who come in they comment and like wow I really love your commentary I'm like my commentary sucks <laughs> and I try to I don't say that because that was one that was one of the first things I learned when it comes to getting compliments is you don't rebut with a negativity <laughs> because when you rebut with a negativity after a person has paid you a compliment 
you're being dismissive and you're being rude. It doesn't really define you as a person, but it definitely defines you, it def definitely defines your action in that moment as a bad thing. Because when somebody's trying to be nice to you, you don't rebut with rudeness. And that was the first thing I learned because it just frustrates people, it just annoys people. And honestly, it, it's a step-by-step -step process to learn how to accept compliments about your work because you yourself know every fault in it and you can see every piece that's about to fall off. Like all these big stories that, that I've written, I can tell you every mistake I made. I can tell you every problem I had, with the exception, of course, of minor grammar errors and my comma usage. Thank you. <laughs> because that's one thing I always forget or, or mess up on is comma usage, which is kind of funny. My editor hated that. But also it became a running joke between the two of us. Um, but things like that are, are, are not important. They're, they're just minor errors. When it comes to the story itself, I, I heavily critique myself on continuity. I heavily critique myself on character development. I heavily critique myself on the story in general. Like, is this character too harsh? Does she fit the role that I've given her? And stuff like that. It's very important um, to me. And then I give my story to somebody and they're like, wow, this is the best story I've read in years. And I'm like, you lying? I know you lying. But instead of saying that out loud, I'm like, oh, well, I'm sure. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> but no. Um, and I find it, I find that, that, that getting a compliment can sometimes be painful, especially when you know all the faults in it. And the step-by-step -step process that I mentioned comes from accepting that your work is not perfect. Your work is never going to be perfect. You got to remember that. And then accepting that other people may not see its imperfections. Or, conversely, accepting that the person that has seen the imperfections accepts them as part of the work. Like Bob Ross said, there's no mistakes in art, just happy little accidents. And the same applies to your commentary on these videos. The same applies to basically everything. It's all about what you do with it. Now, admittedly, in like the medical profession or firefighting and whatnot, there are mistakes and those mistakes can be bad. But I'm talking about art here, not that stuff. Not the real world stuff that's serious and can get you killed. <laughs> And once you've accepted that you know your work's not perfect and the person who's complimenting you may either notice, not care, or see the imperfections as part of the art itself, then it comes to the fact that you have to accept that people actually like it. And that is probably the hardest part about, an art, about being an artist, being a YouTuber, being, being anyone who has problems accepting compliments. A little backstory on me, I don't get complimented very often. And being on YouTube has actually led me to get a lot more compliments than I was comfortable with. And it was a little unnerving at first. Just, an, just as an example, I'm going to tell a bit more about myself. Back when I was in the Navy, I worked hard every day. But I did my best not to be seen because that was the type of job I had. I had to be, I had to make sure none of my, none of my stuff was noticeably off. And as such, I didn't get noticed. I didn't get accolades. I didn't get like, woohoo, huzzah, you're awesome. So I worked behind the scenes to make sure things didn't go wrong. And people only ever noticed when things went wrong. <laughs> as such, like I said, I got no accolades, no compliments, no, hey, you're doing a great job. And I remember vividly the moment I first got a really good review on my work. I cried. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like just break down bawling right there. I waited till I was away and then I got a little misty eyed and I'm like, oh my God, a compliment that feels so, oh, so foreign, it's weird. And, 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 and it was weird and I, I didn't dismiss it. I didn't. 
honestly, I don't know how I reacted in the moment because it was just like, what? <laughs> but it was, it was it, not even really a big compliment. Just like, hey, we know we can count on you. And, and at the same time, it was like, hmm, this is true. This is why compliments don't usually go to my head because it's really hard for me to uh, accept that somebody is complimenting me, you know, genuinely. And that's another thing you need to worry about, not worry about, I should say, is whether or not a compliment is genuine. Because, especially on YouTube, you will get a lot of comments posted to your videos saying, Hey, this was awesome. I dropped a like. Hey, can you go check out my channel? And I'm like, are you really complimenting me or are you just trying to bait me over to your channel? <laughs> I've seen those so many times since I started the YouTube here. So many of the the bot comments that say, hey, your video is cool, come check out mine. A lot of those things. And then, of course, the ones, like, <laughs> I had this one, it was, it was a spam site. Somebody created a, a YouTube account that linked back to their, their, uh, site which was not of good quality I might say I don't know I didn't really check it out but it was very obviously a bait and switch site you know you go you click on the the YouTube link and it takes you to their page it's like hey click me you know, I'm like really you're gonna redirect me off the site and it was funny because that compliment or that comment from that bot from that page was simply I love you I'm like, but you don't even know me. How could you love me? <laughs> Accepting when a, a compliment is genuine is, is, is not as tricky as people like to think. Generally, if there's no strings attached, i.e., hey, you're awesome, come check out my channel, that's a strings attached, not a genuine compliment. But if it's just a, hey, I really like your commentary, genuine compliment and it's not really that difficult to tell the difference but when you're not used to receiving compliments it can be because you're like what do you want because <laughs> nobody ever compliments me unless they want something <laughs> uh, but anyway sorry short video today on account of the fact that I have busy adulting things to do but I do want to take a moment to compliment you guys you guys are awesome I mean, I don't know each and every one of you individually, and I know not every one of you watch my videos. But the ones who comment a lot, the ones who watch my videos, the ones who, who like my videos, I appreciate that. Whether or not you're a good person, it's a good thing you're doing for me, and I appreciate that. And I, and anytime you may have feedback on something, don't 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 be afraid to to, to share it with me because that just helps me improve. Um, and I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Which is basically just liking, commenting, watching, which is the most important part, the watching part. But I do do really enjoy talking to you guys. That's a little bit back and forth. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to, of course, you can comment down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we discuss something else at another time. And until then... Good night.